Salutations, my common folk. So, last we left off, we dealt with the old man's little stone gargoyle guardian. Drea unfortunately met her demise, so we have to go back to the church. It, you know, you know the sad part. The person with the resurrection ability was the person who went down first. That that's the sad part. Anywho, is anybody gonna stop me on my way down? I mean, there's this guy here, but I need to bring him like a special water thing or whatever. Yeah, special medicine. I knew it was special something. I don't even know if I can make that. Uh, ooh, you know what? Let me check back up on that slime that I think about it before I actually leave the area because I'm never coming back here anyway. So, <laughs> is it? I've already give, I've already given them the hero's grace. They no longer need my services. <laughs> Let's see what he's doing over here. What are you doing, Mr. Stein? Old man Mason oozed goodness. I really liked him. That's why I'll never slip away from this place. I'm looking after it for him, so no slime balls can come and do any damage. Good for you, bud. You're gonna be here for eternity. Cause that stuff will not corrode anytime soon. Yeah, get comfy. It's gonna be your home. <laughs> so, I know there's a chest in here, right? Well, not in here, but further down that I did not hit up. The question is, how is everybody doing? Okay, they're doing well enough. You know what I need to do, though? Uh, items, bag. I need to give you some water. Not, not no ordinary water. I need that mana water, which you got a bunch on anyway, so might as well. Yeah. Use it on you. Just in case, so you're in tip top shape for us. Without further ado, let's hurry up and get out of this area. So, oh, it's all the way around. Down, because I I'm hoping I can hit up the chest at the very least, or if I I'm pretty sure I left one that I just didn't know how to reach. Uh, items, because I'm trying to put on some holy water too, or better yet, you have this. Okay, never mind. I know what safe passage does. It's not it's not what I think it is. Because it said across harmful terrain, and then I realized, oh yeah, like poison water. I don't get why it took me that long to think of that. Uh, no, just holy water, dude. Now we don't gotta worry about anything. Can you guys leave me alone? Alright. So, came from that direction. Nothing there. Nothing here. It's somewhere up top. I know that. Really? You, you're you gonna block my whole path, too. You did it out of spite. Nothing but spite. I just like how we just have a coffin sitting here. So, hey, just, just ignore that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Way to go, Abu. You're, you're putting in work. In hindsight, I should have probably made him use a spell, but I can't be bothered at the current moment. Especially if it's just one, so... Yeah, and he's going out of his way to hit me. We're chilling. I don't want the XP difference to be too big, though. So I'm not trying to fight a bunch of random stuff, and then... I got, like... Uh, every, uh what you got? Bava, Anarius, and Amu two levels above Drea. Uh, that's just regular stone statue. You're worthless. What about you? It's a peculiar sculpture. And that That's as far as it's gonna go, huh? Because I can go back to that town now. I know that. I mean, at this point, I'm probably just gonna leave the chest because I don't even remember where it's at anyway. And I don't think it's gonna have anything that extensively valuable. Yeah. You gonna let... Alright. 
just making sure. He's just gonna let me through. Yeah, so let me just go ahead and zoom. I'm not running all the way down. Uh, Zero Rocks. What is it? Yeah, Dow Bridge. What is Dow Bridge? Zero Rocks is the place. It's the town. I need to go to Dow Bridge. Yep. Zero. I just came from Zero. That's 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 what I meant to say. Uh, your holiness, I need you to do a resurrection, and then I need to stay at the end for a little bit. Now I need to go down and see what else I need to do. So, in, yeah, holiness first. Okay, dude. <laughs> I've always fancied having a bash at this priest lark. Right, here goes with the posh voice and not... <clears throat> Welcome to the church, old son. What can I... Assist you with. <laughs> uh, I need a resurrection. Who do you want to bring back from the dead? Eh? Then, eh? Dude's just living his life. 230 coins. Really? I mean, yeah, I'm bringing a teammate back. Let's see. Oi, almighty one. Drea's only gone and got herself killed. Godless, I know, but give her another chance. Just, this is just the most nonchalant resurrection ceremony. I love you already. Yeah, see, because she's already behind in levels. Because she didn't get enough for that. I have to climb up and take the rope across, don't I? Yeah. Well, all the way to the other side. And then I went... I don't know if there's another path for me to go. But I know that one lady where she said, Oh, uh, you're not, not the one. She didn't say that. She said something along the lines of... Uh, oh, you can see me? And then I pretended not to see her. <laughs> what a lovely place you have. <laughs> the boards are just, uh, what you call it? Warping by the second. Will you be staying tonight or will you just be resting? I should stay overnight because I have things to do. If that's done. Hey. I need to actually buy some medical supplies, and then on top of that, I also need to give somebody a different weapon. What is this fire doing? What can I do here? Nothing. Okay. So, or, uh, here's the order of events. Weapons and armor. Because I think I can afford Drea. Well, I know for a fact I can afford it. I'm hoping he has something new that I can give to Drea. So she doesn't have that, just a regular stick with a pointy end on it. Uh, Holy Lance. Hey, look at that. And I really need to find a staff for Amu. Every area I've been in, they just had the lowest quality staffs to the point where it's like, why even bother, you know? Just a light shield, thief's turban, heavy armor. Uh, ooh. Why does it boost? If you don't... 660. I think I can buy two for us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have no gloves on. Yeah, and then throw one on... But Am Amu has gloves on, really. Ultramarine Ultra... Eh. Ultramarine Mittens is apparently what he has on. Okay, give it to Anaris. And then buy that spear for her. Or how's the iron bar looking? It's a piece of crap. Okay. Well, it, it may be just by 10, but it's something. Yeah, give it to Drea. And then she has gloves on as well. She has on rubber gloves, though, so I can trade those out. Uh, one more thing, my kind merchant man. I need... Wayf it was Wayfarer's Gloves, yeah. No. Yeah, it was Wayfarer's Gloves. I, I thought I got something else. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not going to do much for her. Any Whatever. Any increase is better than no increase. Uh, yeah. Everybody got on the same, the same gloves. Nope. You've done enough. Thank you. I need to save up money for other stuff. That. So, I mean, I could run to the side and see. 
I need to figure out how to make that special medicine too. Uh, he he won't be passing anytime soon, so I, I can I can afford to ignore him for a bit. But I need to go down south and hope for the best. I'm hoping there's a little ladder up here I can climb. There it is. Why are you just bathing in a river? Just, say, I, I'll just leave you to your own device. You you do whatever you wanted to do, big fella. I'm on a mission to collect all the fruit in the world. Yeah, it's just further down. Or I might be wrong. Gotta be a little bit careful because I don't want to just carelessly run into things. I'm waiting to find if I can see another big slime. I'm about to just look up the areas for the... Uh, and by big slimes, I mean like the big actual like metal slimes. I want to see the areas for that. So up there was Zere Rocks. Up that mountain. It's, it's coming back to me. So I need to go further down. And further down leads deeper into the little archipelago. If you want to put it that way. Yeah, I can see the crossroads here. Hello to you two, buds. Yeah, I know I can't read it right. Hold up. Babataka reads the sign. Northeast of here lies Zere Rocks. Across the bridge in southwest lies the town of Flowers, Bloomingdale. Something tells me the town of Flowers will be out of season by the time I show up. And it will be up to me to solve it. That, that makes the most sense anyway. Ooh, look at these little things. They remind me of a certain thing that I can't put my finger on right now. Ooh, but there is stuff on the ground. Okay, just a bunch of flowers. Well, let's hope to God that once I get to town, I can get an actual recipe. That'd be great. Uh, and by actual recipe, I want that little special medicine recipe. Because I don't think I know it yet. And everybody needs to level up too, because now our enemies are getting a little bit out of control. You know what? Might as well. Get some while we can. We did upgrade our weapons though, so... Technically doing good. I would prefer much stronger weapons and a sword that doesn't have two pointy sticks on the end of it. Alright, well, I mean, I expected that from you, Amu. It's Drea and the rest of us who I expect full hits on. There you go. We're trained in the art of close combat. You're a distance character, buddy. Alright. So, the only reason why I'm... Ooh, who are you? Well, might as well try it out. The only reason why I'm running down is because I want to see what that little spot is first before I head to the actual town. Uh... It's Wizard Ward. Ah, but that is not... Oh, but that's just an ability, though. Stops a single foe from casting spells. So, you know what I could have done? I could have anti mat Okay, so at least that's future information for later. A Trigatar. Tri... Yeah, Trigatar. Wow. They they really just threw something together and said, Hey, good enough. <laughs> Something tells me, uh, they got tired of making monsters at the beginning of the game. 42, really? Yeah, see? Well, can't blame her for trying. Doesn't she do a group heal for everybody? Like, she heals everyone. Heals allies, HP, and stats affected one slow to two. The Choir of Angels, because I'm hoping it heals her as well, if it's gonna go off. Or I think we're gonna take care of it. Nope. Hey, don't even have, gotta waste mana for it. Look, they just sitting there still as a statue. <laughs> and, like, at least show some breathing. <laughs> they just froze frame on the monster. <laughs> Good enough. He, look, he, look, <laughs> he looks frozen. He looks like he's under the status effect. Alright, so down here first, see what this has to offer, and then I'll probably pop a holy water on the way back, and this is why I check. What is this? Sleeping Hibiscuits. I swear to God, Trigertar, if you run up here, we're gonna have issues. And the only reason I say that is because the game has an awfully bad habit of placing things right in your path. 
or you know stupid th stupid stuff like that happening you really thought you could fight four people by yourself you must be delusional mm, okay well you can kill all move by yourself but hey the three of us Ooh. and out of all of that narius was the only one who managed to dodge disappointing <laughs> yes, sir. The Trigata is defeated. Each body remem- Wow, I just wanted to read that normally, dude. Come on. <laughs> Each body member receives experience. You think I'd say it right? After how many times I said it before? <laughs> Whatever. Give me the town. Give, give me the town. This area is way out of my pay grade at the current moment. I mean, I can technically handle it, but at the same time, they- there's still a side of caution that I had to uh, air towards. Well, hello there, Towns Lady. Welcome to Bloomingdale, the Rose of the South. Are you travelers? I bet you wish you had a ship, don't you? The Pride of Bloomingdale, a very own magnificent vessel, once sailed the high seas from Slurry Quay to Stornway. Pretty good, eh? Interested? I know you are. How jolly! You'd better start buttering up Miss Marion Bloom, then. Alright, well... Hey, didn't you hear? There's a ship here, and it's up for grabs! Okay, so I didn't even know we needed a ship. Just think how much easier your fig hunt would be if you had your own boat. Ooh, there's gonna be monsters on the sea. Cool stuff. Come on, you got to find this girl who owns it and charm her into letting you have it. Should be a slice of cake. Whatever you say, Stella. Whatever you say. This is the this is the first actual like this feels like an actual town. And not just a random village just plumped down in the middle of nowhere. Superior medicine. Hey, I can come back to it. Okay, well, uh Ooh. Now that I got Bloomingdale marked. And it's just our 60. Yeah, put it in my bag. I accidentally threw it on bottle. Nope. So I can zoom. Be grateful that I actually remembered you. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'll pop over, give him his thing. And he's probably gonna give me garbage anyway, but you know. Always, always good to lend a helping hand. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. I got you your item. Uh, excuse me? Was that not special medicine? Did I read it wrong? Uh, superior medicine. You do? What? Okay. I just saw the medicine part in the soon. Well, I'm sorry. Hang in there a little bit longer, bud. <laughs> and then you can thank me. <laughs> You see, his own. The only people that could help him in that situation zoom, <laughs> zoom off into the distance. I'm sorry, but I appear, it appears I have bought the wrong thing from the merch. I got 1,000 gold left. Uh, special medicine. I knew it was special. Well, I can't help you, dude. You're gonna have to sit up there for another like day or so. Uh. Ooh, and they, like, look at this. They even got, like, a little bridge I could walk under. This is the, like, I don't know who's funding this, but these people, oh, boy, the armor shop. So is it a lot better? Or did, did I waste money? Okay, so it, wow, and a platinum shield, huh? Huh. And I just went through all the trouble of crap. I can't even afford it anyway. Uh, well, just... It, it's in... Let, let's, uh, window shop, as they say. Let, let's see what we want. Even though all the... Jesus. Like, the cheapest item you got is 980. No, it's 950, actually. How about that? Cheapest item you got is 950, and none of us can even put it on anyway. Thank you very much. I'll be on my way. I gotta go to the town square center, probably. So, town center. But first... Hello there, sleeping stranger. <laughs> Four strangers in your house. As a young child, Miss Bloom was always sick and was very meek and mild-mannered. But now, well, how can I put it? She's grown into a very unique woman. 
Mm-hmm. I, I, I forgot that, the young part, but yeah. Uh, there's a book called Avian Alchemy. Why, thank you. Bert related recipes. Kester Claws. Hmm. Nothing in here? Why, thank you, sir. I'll be on my way. What's in here? <laughs> uh, this one's awake. <sighs> I don't know. What can I get for Miss Bloom? She has flowers coming out of her ears, and a doll's obviously no good. I need to take her something to show. No, no, never mind. I did read that right. I need to take her something to show her. I'm a really great friend, but she's got such uh, unusual taste. What about you, little boy? <laughs> Marion's peculiar, <laughs> but if I make friends with her, I shall probably get oodles of lovely presents. Okay, now, now it, it's turning into a case of the townspeople are just taking advantage of this one here. At least the boy is. What about everybody else? Excuse me while I vandalize your place, old man. She's a queer one, that bloom girl from the mansion. She nearly jumped out of her skin when she saw my dog. Why does he wear fur and stick his tongue out all the time, she asked me. Well, because he's a dog. That's what I told her, of course. And you know what she said? Oh, nice to meet you, a dog. Oh, so she she's uh, real, real happy about dad jokes, huh? Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you, Hungry. I'm starving. Good for you, bud. Uh, ooh, look, you even got- That's a big boat! This is the harbor, my friend. But I'm sure you didn't need me to tell you that. Oh, wow. Already, huh? She's a fine specimen, don't you think? Yeah, and if I get the rights to that, I am going to have a hoot and a half. This ship used to rule the high seas from the lonely coast to the shores of Coffinwell, the pride of Boom, the pride of Bloomingdale, she's called. But ever since her owner passed away, she's been left to rot. He was a merchant, you know, a bit of a tycoon, truth be told. I used to work for him, you know. I was the ship's warden back then, employed by the fine folks up there in the mansion. What's that, lad? You've been looking for a boat? So, someone still has need of the old girl. You better speak to Miss Bloom at, up at the mansion. And then, uh, up at the mansion, then why? <laughs> then I'm sure... Just assume I read it right. I, I'm sure she'll oblige. She's an outrageously generous young woman. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hell, the doorman, you ran into me at the ship, and I'm sure he'll let you in to see her. Marion's her name. I, I don't... Oh, well. Good on you for locking your door. <laughs> I was about to take everything in there. Any valuable within sight. It's gonna be mine! Yeah, okay. I was about to say, do they have a weapon shop I can go to? And of course they do. He's right, okay, right across the street. Hello and welcome. How can I be of service? So how good are your weapons? Not that good. You still, you have this crappy little sword with the two points. Really? That's better, huh? Made from hard platinum. Well, I, 4,500 for that though. Jesus, dude. Ooh, do you have a wand? Please, for the love of God. Uh, hey, one, one more, and it's an actual magic staff, so you know. Looks like I'm about to save 4,000. Jesus, dude. No wonder. I'd rather just make my weapons. I, I, even then, it's, it's a hoot and a half trying to get it. Marianne was frail as an egg from the day she was born. Poor dear. All my years of nannying, I'd never seen someone so sickly. But she suddenly got better just recently. I know exactly why, because she ate one of them fruits. I bet old Mr. and Mrs. Bloom are looking down with a smile to see her well at last. I'm just going to pop in the house and just see a monster. Kill me! Oh, God. <laughs> well, I'm getting closer and closer to that mansion. Guess it's time. I know everything's there. A couple of barrels over here. Sadly, nothing of value. I, I want to check to be sure, and I always got to check the wells because apparently they just be keeping prisoners down here for no reason. Like, look at, look at this. Like you in a book. Oh, and then you just gotta lock the door. 
Give me keys in party possession. I don't. I didn't even know I had keys in my possession. Like imagine though, like you just get locked down here and they forget about you one day. I'd be paranoid, dude. It's like <laughs> every day I'll just be shouting at the top uh, at the top of my lungs to make sure. Uh, hey, you gonna feed me? Cause I'm not gonna be starving to death down here. All right, bud. Let's see how bad this is. This is the Bloom residence, home of Bloomingdale's most munificent citizen, Miss Marion Bloom. She lives here all alone. I'm sorry, but I can't possibly allow a stranger into the mansion at this late hour. I must ask you to return in the morning. Really? Oh my, I gotta... Dude, I'm already like... I'm, I wasted money sleeping at an inn already. And you're gonna make me sit there and sleep overnight and waste more money? Cost like 200 bucks to sleep the night. You got anything in the end I can break? <laughs> oh, there's a guy. What are you doing in here, Mr. Chef? Miss Bloom's always been. Uh, yeah, I get. You're saying the same thing. Okay, and then okay, you said something different, but that first part was the same thing. It was only after eating that peculiar fruit that she finally developed a bit of strength at last. So I'm j basically, but I'm just gonna go cripple somebody. I'm stealing the fruit bag. <laughs> okay, well. They can't all have a happy ending. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't gossip, but I'm terribly worried about Miss Bloom. She's not ill anymore, but she's still all alone up in that mansion. That's why everyone in town takes advantage of the poor mite. Yeah, I, I could tell that the town was taking advantage. Let me... Overnight. Uh, it costs more for overnight, though. Late hour, there are four... Okay, 32 gold. But, still... That's 32 extra gold that I didn't have to spend if they just let me go there already. Yeah, restful sleep. I mean, it helps me get more into the world, though, because you got to think, though, right? Uh, what what other... Uh, uh, th this is off topic a little bit, like out, out of the game, right? But uh, what other RPG would tell you sleep overnight and come back in the morning, right? It's like, oh, she's asleep. Come back in the morning. Hey, dude. You did Bloom Residence. Hmm. You're a friend of the shit. You saw me yesterday night. What are you? He's sitting there. Uh, 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 this is the Bloom Residence. After he just told me, come back in the morning. He's like, who are you? He just gave me the same little repeat lines. Uh, then you're very welcome. Here, do go in. Miss Bloom, I got. Uh, <laughs> I have to take a fruit from you. He said, pardon me, miss, but I'm here to break your legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry for the <laughs> misunderstanding, but no one should be in possession of that much power. You got a locked door with a chest. I sure hope that I can... You know what I could do now that I think about it? I should have a thief member in my party. So what I'll do is I'll create a thief member and I'll power level them. And I'll go around just breaking into places. I think that's what I need to do. And that's why I can't do anything. Okay, well I unlocked that strength ring, really? And gold, 1,005, like look at this. <laughs> so don't worry, Miss Bloom, oh, I just noticed the cobwebs. Well then, uh, she is not in the right state of mind, let's say that. What about you, Miss, what are you doing here? Mary and Bloom sounds like she's a bit funny in the head. I mean, such a huge mansion needs lots of people to keep running. Yeah, to keep it running, but she gave all her staff the sack. I mean, hey, she ate the fruit. Maybe she went crazy. Who knows, dude? Look at her just sitting up there. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Miss Bloom gave me this necklace as a symbol of our friendship. Honestly. Yeah. Don't worry, miss. I'll be sure to free you from the townsfolk's control. Oh, look at that. Two people are in there, too. What are you guys trying to tell them? Good day to you both. What fun have you in store for me today? Well, Maria, <coughs> I mean, uh, Miss Bloom, I thought something sweet might be <laughs> might be nice. So I picked you this delicious strawberry sponge cake. I do hope you like it. A sponge cake? A gunge cake? Ah, thank you, yes. I shall have it sit in one of our finest faces and put it on display. Oh, on this? Uh, Miss Bloom, it's a cake, not a... I mean, <clears throat> yes, yes, of course, as you wish. Marion, Marion, don't you want to know what I've got for you? What is it? 
Well, we girls prefer clothes to fatty old food, don't we? And you've always wearing the same old ribbon. So, I got you a new one. I don't want it. What? But, but, what? what? Why? It's really pretty. If I say I don't want something, I don't want it. My ribbon is the same as my one true friend's. It's the perfect... No, it's per... Why, why did I add that? It's perfect in every way. I'm so disappointed in myself this episode. I shan't just replace it with something else. No, 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 no. Get it out of my sight. I want nothing more to do with you. No, get out of my sight. But... But I... Who are you? Are you a new friend? I got a sword. Would you like to see the sharp end of it? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. We haven't met before, have we? Gotta get my game face on. I will not mess up at all, because this is my interaction. Hmm? My ship? You'd like my ship? Certainly. You can have it. Take it away with you. Go wherever you please. All I ask is that you let me be your friend. Ooh, do you sense something amiss? You're... You're not the same as the others. You've come from Marion, haven't you? I mean, it's like if I lie, you're just gonna say no. You're lying, so it's like, yeah. I've come to slay the... <laughs> slay the beast. I won't let you! No! No, no! And no! I hate you! You're not my friend! I take it back! You can't have my ship! Get out! You're not gonna force me out! I can use force! Really, Miss Bloom, there's no need to get so angry. Yes, let's all kiss and make up. We can make up, can't we, Marion? No, no, no! I hate you! All of you! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I'm dying of cringe on the inside, just know that. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me, uh, until tomorrow then, Miss Bloom. Bye-bye. Oh, no, that was her. Bye-bye. Oh, my. Looks like Miss Bloom is in one of her moods again. I'll, I think I'll stay out of her way for today. You are just a leech, aren't you? Uh-oh. Hello and good... <laughs> he just left just like that. Hello and goodbye, Miss Bloom. <laughs> you just gonna sit in your room? Oh, she's dead. Well then, that explains it. <laughs> You're a doll. <laughs> Phew, what a handful, eh? Any idea why she bolted over like that? She bolted totally out the blue. So it's a doll that came to life. Because I guess the fruit was next to the doll and the doll got was alive long enough or she fed it. That's enough brainstorm. Let's figure this out. I tell you not to touch it with a large bowl, but if you can't patch things up, we won't get that ship. I wonder if there's anyone around here who knows how to get inside her good books. Ah, uh, that is beyond me, Stella. You're just gonna lock the door. How dare you? I'll find a way in. <laughs> Don't worry. I gotta run all the way back to that old man I'm imagining. Oh, you know what? It's probably that lady that was sitting there. I sure hope I don't gotta play Blue's Clues in the town. That's... How kind of you. Oi! You there! How dare you upset Miss Bloom? Uh, I guess, okay. Yeah, sure, dude. You know, everybody else is just sitting outside. The you! Mm -hmm. No, not you. I wasn't trying to talk to you. Oh, what a shocker. It sounded like she just completely flew off the handle. I bet you jumped out of your skin, didn't you? I heard she was quite sickly. Yeah, I heard she was a quite sickly, gentle girl, but she seemed full of veins. And, well, not that gentle at all. What about you? Mind how you go around, Miss Bloom. Her moose swings are becoming famous around here. She even dismissed the entire household staff, you know. Yeah, I know. Why are you, why are you telling me? Oh, she's telling me they're at the inn. Oh, sh hold up. I saw that last second. You cannot escape my watchful eye when it comes to being a detective. So where are these people at? Are, the, are you guys downstairs? I didn't even notice inn had it downstairs. Look, you got a whole bar down here. This place looks kind of nice. Uh, what about you? Blimey. Sounds like they're giving gold and jewels and stuff away for free. They must be absolutely rolling in it. <laughs> we'll just snatch that little princess away and our old man will be tripping over himself to pay the ransom. 
Her old man's dead, dude. Mm -hmm. And you get at least get some knowledge of the situation. Eh, uh, what? Nothing. Nah, I was just a uh, thinking her uh, might be a fine family living in such a tidy drum, man. Yeah, oh, wait, no. I, never mind. I take that back. I don't think her old man's dead. I don't know. I don't know the full picture yet. Uh, I, I, I forgot. But, like, I saw that her parents were worried sick, then she got a fruit. So, did she do something to her parents? Genius, Gov. It's a master plan. Can't go wrong. It's foolproof. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Barkey? Even I was dismissed. Me! The butler! There were four others who went too. The maid, the cook, the ship's warden, and Miss Bloom's own nanny. And Matt- Oh! The nanny! I'm an idiot! The nanny, of course! I should've figured. Uh, I forgot which- I know she was probably in these three houses over here, so let me go down. But, yeah, said the nanny, she said, I raised her from, uh, we little lad, we sickly little lad, this one, because this was the person sitting up. I, how kind of you to disappear when I need you, you dirtbag. Oh, and he, why is he growing in numbers with dogs? Like, I, there was two dogs in here, now you got three. When, when you got three dogs and up, you have a problem, alright? <laughs> one to two would suffice. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mayor Man is gonna be down. Not Mayor Man, but just Old Man is gonna be down there. You got anything special to tell me? Oh, it's you. Well, how did it go? Miss Bloom says, <laughs> Yes, you did. <laughs> what? Aww. Oh, you didn't have to tell her that part. What? She flew out the handle and told you to leave? Yeah. It's not like Miss Bloom to get angry at anyone. Why would she take offense at a complete stranger, I wonder? Well, I'm sorry, my friend. Without the owner's permission, I can't very well let you use that old girl. All I can suggest is that you try asking Miss Bloom again, and hope it gets better than the last time. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going to find a nanny. They're, they're all telling me the same thing, hinting aggressively towards the nanny. But the nanny ran out her own house, so it's like, dude, I don't know where she went. Did, oh, never mind. I, I was wrong. Uh, are you in this house? Did, are you visiting a friend, maybe? I sure hope you're... I'm an idiot. It was this house. It was not that lady in that three house. That's right. It was Miss Marion's nanny. Bless her. I do miss the job, I must say. Goodness me. Are you sure? She's locked herself in her room. Oh, dearie me. That's an awful worry. But don't. But I don't know if I can help. I don't know if she'll want to see me. Ever since she got well, it's like she's a different person. She's very hard to handle now. She won't talk to us that- Oh, you know what they probably did? Her and the doll switched souls! That makes more sense. It's like a Freaky Friday situation. I don't know why it took me so long to think of that. I don't know why. Oh, wait. There is someone she might- Oh my- Another person, huh? The toy maker. He made her- Yeah, see, there's a doll involved now. <laughs> You see, and she absolutely doted on it, bless her. It was just next to the church. Yes, and Marion's having one of her temper tantrums. I, I should think the toy maker's the only chance. Yeah, you wanna know why he's the only chance? Because the toy maker made the doll, and the doll knows that that's her creator. Is this the toy maker's house? Because she says he's right next to the church. I, I sure hope this ain't the toy. <laughs> why? Why are you in a Pope uniform? Okay, you're the mayor, thank God. Still though, why is the mayor in like a pope uniform? Uh, blah blah blah, friend in your Mary. Everybody wants to befriend Marion in order to get something from her. Like, you, you people are not real friends. You're just leeches. Get out of here. Uh, he said next to the church. Ah, okay, my bad, my bad. Mm -hmm. Silly me for not seeing. I see he's balding, and I said, well, let me see if you got any recipes before I in interrupt myself. I can make a platinum sword. And then apparently high heels and sorceress sandals. Too bad I got a sorcerer, not a sorceress. Hello, doll maker. Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. I'm Randolph. This used to be my workshop once upon a time. I was a toy maker, you see. But I'm getting on a bit now, you know. I retired a while back. What's that? 
Did I ever make a doll for Marion Bloom? Goodness, how on earth would you know? Ah, you were talking to a nanny, I suppose. Oh, yes, that takes me back. But how in the name of the Almighty did you get on that subject? What? Marion's being difficult and she shut herself in her room? Where her? Where are her parents, actually? Now that I think about it, because it's like, even though I'm pretty sure they're not dead, now I did not see them in the house. Oh dear, oh dear, that is a worry. Thank you for letting me know. I don't really know why, but Miss Bloom has always had a soft spot for me. Even when she banished the rest of her servants from the house, she would always agree to see me. Why don't we go over and, and see if I can coax her out of her room again this time? Hey man, as long as nothing big happens. Are we gonna, hey, look at that, we're already here. Hello, Miss Bloom, it's Randolph. Marion, are you in there? Whatever is the matter, my dear, you haven't fallen ill again, have you? Well, the door appears to be unlocked. Perhaps she's gone out somewhere. I, I'm coming in now, Miss Bloom. I'm doing a spectacular job with him. I, I, I'm just saying. Well, that's most odd. There's no sign of Marion or the doll I made her. Hmm? Yeah, I'm noticing there's a little doorway to the left. I wonder what could be here, besides the bed. Look at this. There's a letter on the bed. Well, now, let me see. We got, um, those idiots. Oh, my. And the fact that I was there to prevent it, and my idiot self didn't do it. They moved that fast? Jesus. We got the girl. If you want to see her again, you better bring all your dough to the cave up north. I know exactly what cave you're talking about, because I just saw it on the map. My goodness! Th this is outrageous! I mean, the spelling is just... <coughs> I mean... <laughs> okay. Yes, instead of concern being concerned about a person's life, let's be a grammar... <laughs> let's be a grammar police about it. I mean, we must raise the alarm at once! <laughs> Miss Bloom's been kidnapped! Everyone, Miss Bloom's been kidnapped! You think somebody would have saw them? Hey, and then there goes the real Miss Bloom. So what? what's the story? No, no, no story? I gotta walk to you? And, and nothing to say, huh? You're just gonna... Am I gonna see the dead bodies of your uh, dearly departed uh, paternal and maternal fi <laughs> figures? Yeah, you know, like hey, let me let me know when I'm walking. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, all all of them. Mm. I mean, I figured Marion passed, but they didn't outright say that. I, or at least I don't remember them outright saying that her parents passed. Okay. Well, Baba Taka reads the inscription on the gravestone. In memory of my one true friend. May you rest in peace. That ghost was the splitting image of Marion, don't you think? What you think, Rick? No, no, not what you think. It's, every time I see what you, I, I might automatically assume it's think, but... What you reckon going on? Reckon's going on. You don't think something's happened to Little Miss Moneybags, do you? Stella, nice to see you're as crass as always. She is my one true friend. Uh, it's her! Uh, nice of you to descend upon us. I am Marion Bloom. This is my resting place. The girl, the poor girl who has been kidnapped is my doll, Marionette. My precious Marionette who was given life by that mysterious fruit. I called it. Hey, flashback! I wasn't like the other children. I couldn't play freely outside. Marionette was my one and only companion. She was everything to me. We played together every day. I was really very happy. But, as my condition worsened, I knew that it wouldn't be long before the Celestrians came to take me away. And then, one day, 
One of the servants bought me a mysterious fruit that was thought to heal all ills. It was a beautiful golden color, like the sun, but it was too late for me. I had already given up hope by that point. I was sure that my life was already over, that nothing could save me, not even that fruit. Look, Marionette, isn't it pretty? It looks just like a star, the way it sparkles, doesn't it? And it smells... delicious. Why don't you eat it with me? I'd like to share it with you. Just imagine, Marionette. Imagine if you could walk and talk just like I can. I would be so happy. If only you could come to life so I could just... So I could have just one true friend before I... <coughs> the Celestrians are coming for me. <laughs> You are Marion? You are my friend? I'm so happy to be able to speak to you at last. M Marionette, you're... you're really... But why now? Just when I'm... It's not fair. What do you mean? I... I am... Marionette. I leave everything that I own to you. All that is mine is now yours. I give you my life. If people realize that you're a doll, they... They won't let you stay here. You must pretend to be me. Uh, that was a pretty fast death. <laughs> I mean, I get that. I hope you live a ha happy life as Marion. Live the life that, that I could not. I did a couple ad-libs in there. Make lots of friends as I never could. Just saying, uh, a white background on white text, not the best idea. Good thing they outlined it. Marionette made this secret grave for me so that no one would realize that she wasn't me. Noble Celestrian. It is all my own doing. I am the only one to blame. Please, don't punish Marionette for this. What are you gonna say for that, Stella? Kind Celestrian, please, help Marionette. Help my one true friend. Let me get this straight. One of these figs has turned a lifeless little doll into a moody little mi- You do not disappoint, Stella. Honestly, you don't disappoint. And to a moody little madam? I have heard it all. Still, you can't really turn a blind ear to a cry for help like that, can you? Noble Celestrian. It's like she just casually making fun of it. Chop chop, then. Get to work. You got a doll to deliver from the crutches of doom. But me taking the fruit is going to get rid of the doll. And you see... Oh, no good deed goes unpunished, I tell you. Well then, what about this? Babataka reads the inscription on a gravestone. In loving memory of a great man whose rare business talent brought fortune to this blooming dale. I get it now. The whole town's a pun. Babataka reads the inscription on a gravestone. Behind every great man is an even greater woman, in loving memory of a dear mother and a faithful wife. 
you know what? This actually looks nice. So we are going to end it here because it, it has went far longer than, it, well, not far longer, but like 10 minutes longer than what I usually do because I do like 40 minutes for this one. I try to keep it around that. But I, I was too into the story at that point. And she had her whole flashback and stuff too, dude. Uh, hey. Hey, let me know how I did though on that end part. I think I did pretty good. I, I think I did pretty good. But I, at the same time, you know, there's always room for improvement. I, I feel like there's I, there are some parts I could have done better. But that's besides the point. Uh, besides me uh, giving myself my very own ego trip uh, aside, I hope you enjoyed I appreciate, and I shall catch you folks in the next one. Uh, have a good day, actually. Yeah, have a good day, and I'll see and see you folks later.